This is a lament to lost words. You hear me okay? Yeah. Louder. A, a lament, a lament to lost words. And this is a protest against required reading of Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, would that these endless hours of fruitless perusal be happier spent. The or trumpeted bard doth leave me cold and cause my stomach to upheave. Shh, pray thee be tranquil, I beseech. This course be required if thou wouldst teach. Alas, I may not. <laughs> oh, William, I as well did one time pen the outpourings of my new grasp truth, yet saw I the wisdom as past my youth to smite with flame and turn to ash those damning rhymes. They fair, obscurated, obscured, <laughs> nay, obliterated more, I vow, the stark and Beauteous gems of truth they shot to, sought to frame. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, wouldst thou, God's own gift, ye gild? Rippling water's voice as well. The birds bespeak most eloquent yet unadorned. Hide not these shining truths that thou hast gleaned through thy merciless rape of thy earth made souls. Entwine truth not with strangling threads. Nor thy wisdom cast upon us, ill a gasp for breath, choked on that very message for humankind, which thy, which thou sought in all thy mission to preserve. O oh, silly will, thy kindness is a curse. Pity my bedazzled eyes, bedeafened ears, and what is worse, my frazzled tongue. Pity my poor brain, too dumb to ponder out thy meanings hedged within this hopeless maze. Reason thus, thy spark of truth so swaddled, must needs endure the dark to raked and fanned and breathed upon to blaze anew at dawn? Oh, pray thee consider, wouldst thou then as well embalm thy dearest friend while still within his breast his heart doth beat? What kindness can this be, I ask of thee? Shall his pickled heart be ever pleased and content that it will keep? Nay, my patience, thou hast tried. I beseech thee, beg, implore. Speak out, young man. Lose not sight of what thy words are for. Say these things thou must without this falderall. Or like as mine, thy words will turn to dust. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da.